M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So, yeah, out of the blue, Martin Lynch have got the Yesu FT200DE on their website. So thanks very much to Martin Lynch. So I thought, well, let's compare it to the FTM300. So if you look here, the I actually prefer the look of the FT200DE. Now, it, it's... The screen looks the same, but apparently this is a single receive radio. So correct me if I'm wrong. It's dual band, single receive. There's only two turning knobs here, probably push knobs as well. Where on the FTM 300, there are four knobs. The buttons, same amount of buttons, is it? No, it's four buttons either side here. And over here we've got five, but you've got an extra button here for band and VM. Uh, sort of VFO memory mode. So looking at the microphone, that looks like the same microphone. Feature-wise, let's just see if we can see any other difference. Now the back case looks the same. I'm interested to know if it's if this is a smaller device. I mean the FTM 300 is quite quite small in itself, but I, I I will give them the thumbs up from me for the design. I like the design. Nice simple design. Looks easy to use. Um, I don't think it's touchscreen. So let's read Martin Lynch's stuff on the FTM 200. So they're pricing it at 350, uh, which isn't much difference than the, the FTM 300, which I think. Um, it, well, we'll have a look in a sec. But anyway, let's just scroll down and look at the th the features. So shipping April 2022, um, free UK shipping. That's good. So 50 watt. Just looking for anything different, really. 25 watt, 5 watt, 2 inch screen, um, 3 watts powerful, clear and crisp audio speaker. That's good. We need that. C4 FM, automatic mode select. Yeah, DJID, PMG, primary group with a single receiver. I'm not sure what that is. PMG SR monitor, primary memory group with a single receiver, provides constant monitoring. And communication of up to five channels with PMG auto mode. Yeah, so that's like, oh uh, yeah, we've used that, haven't we? Where you uh, have the the graphs on the screen. Um, I think that's what, you have it on the FT5 as well. That's what I think that is. Um, so, custom function CFL display allows checking and immediate executing priority functions up to eight functions. Mag memory auto grouping. Air band, VHF band, UHF band, and other 1104 memory channels. Band skip, high speed band scope function. I wonder what the band scope actually looks like because it's, it's, I wouldn't call that high speed on the FT5. Wireless operation capability with Bluetooth headset. That's got to be a good thing. You've got to install the BU4. And then, yeah, it's definitely wires exportable, so you'll need a cable. I wonder if that's the SCU19 or 39 uh, microphone, voice recording, SD card slot. So, yeah, it's very similar to the 300 in many ways. Um, so, yeah, I think the dimensions would be quite important. Just going through all the functions there. Yeah, use all DGID, group mode, smart navigation, new custom function list of the FT200 quickly recalls a list of frequency used functions by simply pressing the F menu. 10 functions are listed in default. So it made it like quick and easy to to get into Vox recording, snapshot feature, SD card, band skip. So yeah, that's okay. And then if we look at the let's uh, let's go back to the go back and then we'll click the FT let's put this move this over a bit. FTM 300 feature wise and if we look here I'm trying to look for something that's different really 300 2 inch screen so it's the same inch screen uh, VHF UHF with the FT300 it's, it's simultaneous dual receive but you only actually hear one at a time but you get the data and the information simultaneously um, Y is X mode yeah I don't think they mentioned GPS on the other one did anyone see that? Because obviously you've got APRS on the FTM 300. That's so APRS modem 
GPS receiver. So let's, I think that's the big thing that's different. You've got Bluetooth here, memory channels. Yeah, a lot of stuff similar, but I can't see anything that mentioned GPS. So I would say this is, I'm just going to look again. Hang on a minute, it says here, yeah, APRS data communication, GPS receiver. So no, found it. So take that back completely. It does have, uh, it does have GPI, GPS and APRS. So that's good because we want that really, don't we? So let's have a quick look, see what Martin Lynch charged for a uh, Yesu FT300. See if I can get into the thing here. What Yesu FTM 300. Let's click on that. Mm, that would be good if it was £26. FTM 300. Death stand. Nope. Why can't we find that? Are we blind? There it is there. Same price. So let yeah, tell us why we would rather have the the two hundred than the three hundred because to me that you get you get more for your well it's a different design I suppose I mean yeah I think the simultaneous receive would be the thing I would say it's a dual band radio simultaneous receive as far as I can see the let's just open up the two hundred de go back down those specs again. Let's click it here. Only one photograph, unfortunately. So we just check out the specifications. Again, is there a video on this? FTM3, can't see a video on the 200, so. Yeah, well, message me. Let me know if you think I'm, um, if I got the, my facts right about this. I know what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the 300 again, aren't I? So let's just put that in. Like so. Sorry about this. I've literally just got home to do this. FTM FTM two hundred. Let's click on it again. It's definitely a dual band radio. Dual band. Da, 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 da. Scrolling down. Just looking for. Anything that says, oh, I think it's a single receive radio. That's what I think. You know, you've got A and B band, but you're only going to hear one at a time. Which really, to be honest, is what you get on the 300, except for the fact that you get digital info coming through. Really, it's the same radio in another package, really, isn't it? <laughs> a bit like the FT3D and the FT5. Same radio, slightly different package, better speaker, slightly different design. So they're sort of re repacking the same radio and selling it, if you ask me. Um, well, at least the price, the, at least Yesu are keeping their price structure reasonable because ICOM has gone way too high, if you ask me. Yesu seems to be, you know, okay. I would say that. That's my opinion, M0FXB. So, yeah, drop messages. I'd like to know what you think the difference is. Here's the two radios. I like them both. I'll be honest. I like the design of the FT200D more than the FT300. But I like both radios. 73, please like and subscribe to my channel. All the best.